I was singing in the bathroom one day and I was like, oh, I can sing. <laughs> She's been singing since she was an infant. She would lay in her crib at night and I'd always play the same lullaby CD for her every night. When Sierra was born, she was diagnosed with autism and it wasn't like instantaneous, but we knew when she was little that there were certain things that she, milestones she wasn't achieving. Um, she had stims where she used to flap and then she really didn't talk until she would talk but it was hard to understand until she was maybe four or five she could speak in full sentences we had the official diagnosis from a doctor when she was six and they told me she was high functioning autistic and i was like well, what does that mean what is high functioning autism and the doctor said well she's probably gonna be the kid in the back of the classroom that doesn't get the joke and I didn't think that was very funny. <laughs> and I was like, no, not my kid. My kid will get the joke. All autistic people have this thing called a fixation. When they obsess over one thing and one thing only, and like they obsess hard over it. Like my fixation is singing and music. And we autistic people get really smart over our obsession. And I think that's why I have perfect pitch and why I'm a powerful singer. <laughs> I want to be an inspiration for all the people like me to go for their dreams and despite what many other people say. You can live your dream. I am going to sing the national anthem without being nervous is I'm just going to think that I'm just going to sing for fun like how I do in my house and just kill it. <laughs> If I could tell the whole world one thing about autism, it's that many of us are like you. We may be different. Our minds might work differently, but we are still normal. <laughs>